And that's where we find uh, Atlanta News First Chelsea Bimefour, who's live in downtown outside the APS building, I believe. Chelsea, tell us about the latest voting numbers. Well, Alan, right now only about 70% of precincts are reporting numbers, but uh, it's looking likely that at least three incumbents will keep their seats here on the APS school board. But whoever is ultimately elected will be tasked with helping select the new APS superintendent. I'm here to serve. That's the only reason I'm on the school board. Atlanta's newly elected school board will oversee 50,000 students and families, but one of their most important tasks will be selecting a new superintendent. I am looking for someone who is laser focused on reading and who does believe that every child can be taught to read. Last summer, the board told Dr. Lisa Herring they weren't renewing her contract after just two years as superintendent of Atlanta Public Schools. In August, the board appointed Dr. Danielle Battle as the interim superintendent. We're preparing to hire a new superintendent. We're preparing to approve a $1.67-ish billion dollar budget, and we're preparing to really do a, a full overhaul of our, our literacy and math curriculum components, and we need a leader who understands the governance functions of the board. Most Board of Education candidates say they're looking for a more collaborative leader and one that's focused on improving student literacy rates. A new superintendent is slated to be hired by next summer. All of us are looking for the perfect fit and I don't know what that really means. I believe that you get a superintendent that does the priority of the board and right now our priority is literacy so we really have to focus on a superintendent that is um, literacy focused, that is student focused, that really want to be involved with making sure the oversight of the administration is doing exactly what needs to be done for our students to um, be successful. And if any of these races come to a runoff that is scheduled for December 5th, right now with about 70% of precincts reporting, it's possible that the District 7 at large seat between Alfred Brooks and Tamara Jones could be headed towards a runoff, but again, still several precincts that we haven't heard from yet tonight. Reporting live in downtown Atlanta, Chelsea Bime for Atlanta News First. Chelsea.